Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to How Baylor On here in FS22 with me, Siwari. It is the start of another lovely day here at the end of March. I got my cultivating contracts done yesterday. The equipment's been returned. We've got a fresh morning here on the farm to kind of have a look at things. Uh, can have a look at the contract situation as it stands. There's still a load more. A few more fertilizing contracts now. Sowing 26, big field. And field 30. Potatoes. Mm, not so keen on planting potatoes, but 20 grand. 20 grand for a sowing job. That's probably not bad. Spraying, spraying. We'll have, a, we'll have a bit of a study of that in a minute. What I want to do today, however, is I want to take our tractor here. Our lovely Massey Ferguson that we have on lease, we have on loan. I want to take this to the store and I would very much like to get it um, returned, basically. Because we, we, we currently rented it. We have 313,000 in the bank, so I would like to buy a tractor now but what I want to test and the thing I want to test is whether or not when I re return this um, is it going to all right first things first let me uh, just quickly move these Because they're kind of annoying me a little bit. <laughs> the fact that they've been knocked about by the cedar. Right, let's uh, just put the weight down somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Right, so I'm going to return this. I then want to see if it's going to appear in the least equipment part of the store. Uh, the, the the used, the second-hand equipment part of the store. It would be nice. And then if I could buy it cheap, then that would be great. I would be happy for that. Wouldn't anybody? Let's have a look then. Used equipment sales. It's not showing up at the minute. We could get Stevie's combine though. His class Lexian, eight nine hundred, fifty one per half price, fifty one percent off on the class harvester. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I was in the market for a class harvester, that would have been fine. However, I am not. I'm in the market for a tractor. See, the case only goes up to 270. Not powerful enough. Unfortunately. Although I could get it with front loader. 
But that 270 horsepower compared to 325 on that Massey. That Massey's kind of in a in a world of its own there. Nothing else in the medium medium tractors that can touch that. Um start looking at fence. Fence start getting expensive. Like I say, the John Deere 7R, which I don't want to get purely and simply because I've got it on Elm Creek. I don't want to use the same vehicles on every save. Uh, there's the T8 Genesis. Um, we're struggling though, because now we start getting into large tractors, we lose the ability to have... Uh, front loaders and this tractor has got to have a front loader on it Oh, we've got the big buds Oh Why am I looking at them? What's that the optum? I'll go up to 313, so it doesn't have front loader though. Doesn't have a front loader option. And there's no good looking at small tractors because there won't be anything in here which will have 325 horsepower, will there? Not even close. As strange as it may be, having just returned that Massey Ferguson, I think potentially we're going to have to um, lease one of those. I'll get the new Holland with front loader, you see. The 800 series does not have front loader support. Bit of a, 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 a blow. And the McCormick. See, that doesn't come with a front loader option either. Are we going wide tyres and weights on this bad boy? Miters. Fairly decent tread there. Continentals. No Continentals uh, license plate. There we go. Well, that's going to be our tractor then, folks. Uh, 
No, it's not. Don't change the engine configuration. So that's actually going to cost me 256,000 with the um, all the different options. Okay. Gives me with 57 grand then. So, yeah. Uh, not ideal. Like I say, I was hoping to uh, get a deal. A deal or no deal on one of these. It would have been great if we could have got the second hand one back. Wouldn't it? Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Right then, I think what we do is we accept that contract there. And possibly, we can't do potatoes. I would have loved to have done that contract there, but I can't do potatoes. And we might do those spraying jobs then as well, which means we can load this guy up with the, now we've bought this fancy new tractor, strap the cedar onto him, take him down to field 26. We can put quite a um, put into work doing seeding. Then we can come back, grab the sprayer, load that up with herbicide, and go off into two lovely herbiciding contracts. That's loaded up. It is full of seed currently. I, mean, I did refill it, so I don't need to visit the store to get those two pallets. However, I will need them after we have seeded field 26, definitely. This way, I think. So yeah, sadly we didn't get the uh, deal or no deal option on the uh, Massey Ferguson, so I've had to buy an actual proper one. Oh, not to worry though. Not to worry. He's not going to stop. I'm going to have to slow down for him. I think this is this field 26. No, this is not field 26. Too small. Field 26 is the one over here. This monster mammoth field. Covered in stones. So unfortunately, this cedar is going to get absolutely wrecked. Right, what did the contract want? It wanted oats. Fair enough. There he goes, he's off seeding. Thumbnail for the 
screenshot for the thumbnail. Not thumbnail for the screenshot. Um, there is a mod apparently that allows you to collect stones during contracts. So we could have, I could have picked up all the stones on the map and use those. Um, and then I could have sold them, which would have given me a little bit more money. Um, but yeah, we now only have two bits of leased equipment, um, which is nice. Um, I'll say it's a shame that my uh, CH CH seven seventy there, look harvester. Mm. That's cheap. Right, let's um, have a quick look in the placeables menu. So I've added some new things today. Hey, there's the plate. There's my my new placeable workshop. The small workshop. That's quite nice. Handy little mod. We could probably do with that at the farm somewhere. Um, but we'll worry about that another time. That's a new mod. This lets you put stones into it. A bit like the stone crusher. But then it lets you get lime out of it, out the other end. So any stones you remove from the field, you can turn into lime for your lime spreading purposes. Um, you can also use it to sell lime. Um, it's a lime selling point as well. So if you've got excess lime, um, you can get rid of some of it. That's an interesting mod. Um... So yeah, Debris Crusher is greenhouses we've already got. Uh, not doing anything with generators. Uh, looking at animals, but I don't think I've got anything new in that sense. Cheap. Could go for some more chickens, of course. Want me bees, and then it's dogs, isn't it? Then Just looking. Right. That guy is seeding away. Happily. Right. Let's go and now do our pick up with our New Holland, who's going to grab our sprayer for us. And then we can kick on with the two spraying contracts that we've got to do. Tell you what, there's not a lot of room now to drive through here because obviously my twin bin, my my quad bin silo that I bought in the winter 
now does actually take up a little bit more room. Right, that's used up all the herbicide spray. And we are doing what fields was it? 21, 32, 21. That kind of sounds to me like it's up north. It bloody is, isn't it? Of course it would be. Wouldn't be near anywhere near where I am. Guess we can spray that and then on the way back we can pick up some uh, more herbicide from the store. Refill our tank and then we can go and get um, we can go and get some more stuff then we can go do the other field but yeah get a decent amount for the um, planting contract today Pickings are doing obviously very nicely for me. Haven't sold honey today. Probably going to let the honey pile up today actually and I'll probably end up selling it tomorrow, 1st of April. First of April, obviously beginning of April, the first thing we're going to need to do is get our soybeans planted on the field that we have remaining. It's currently sat doing nothing. I've got my front weight on this, yes. I can see why you want me to spray your field, sir. Your field's an absolute disaster of weeds. At least I'll be able to see where I've sprayed. don't have access to this land let me tell you something right now sir i have access to whatever i want when i want <laughs> dare you tell me otherwise game but yeah we've in invested a lot today buying a tractor but at least it's ours now no more leasing that brings the cost down a fair bit if we can get the, uh, like I say, get them uh, another tractor bought in the not too distant future, that'll be kind of cool. Something to uh, basically take over, like I say, the fertilizing. I won't be, ha I'll be happy to have something to take over for. The new Holland in terms of fertilizing, herbiciding, lime, um, not necessarily lime spreading because you can use a big tractor for that. But when it comes to fertilizing and uh, and what have you, then we, yeah, we definitely want a. Um, we could do with a maybe getting a small tractor that can do that or a small medium tractor. A smaller medium tractor. Maybe again, get another one with a good front loader on it. So we've got an option, another option there.
and then invest in a large tractor then down the road once we've got sufficient money. But yeah, I was a little bit surprised. I have to say, I was a little bit surprised to see a modded vehicle in the second-hand sales. Second-hand sales are... Yeah. Um... Are very interesting. Then, if you can get mods in the second-hand equipment list, oh, that opens up a new, um, a new ball game. If the game's able to offer you mods for second-hand vehicles, why can't the game offer you mods for contracts? Hmm. Any ideas, people? If the game's able to detect what mods you've got installed and can offer you those mods then as used vehicle sales, why can't it offer you those mods for contract use? See, this isn't going to take very long at all. In fact, I'm probably not going to need to refill the herbicide sprayer today. After doing these two contracts, I'm probably not going to need to do spray, um, refill this. What we might do is we might go back to the farm, grab the, um, the fertilizer spreader. And we might go out and do some fertilising contracts, if there's any, available. It's just a shame I can't plant potatoes with my cedar stroke planter thing. Because I haven't modified... I haven't got the fill types file modified in this game. Um, the one which allows you to plant potatoes with a planter if i added the potatoes to the fill types category for planters my machine my cedar back there my caverland would be able to seed potatoes and we would be able to do that so that might be a little um xml edit that i need to do or add to my um potential list of xml edits that i need to do in game just for sanity sake um because i don't mind i don't mind planting potatoes with a proper cedar i just don't want to do it with one of those tiny little three meter potato cedars because it would take forever and i'll tell you what it was quite late even with that you know doing those court vein contracts yesterday it was really late it was like um, half past 11 in the evening um, when I finished off those um, finished off those contracts um, all the ones I did there was a couple more that I could have done I was like I didn't really like carry cultivating into today and you might have noticed as well, when looking at the real time clock there in the top corner of the screen, that it's currently 10pm for me, here on this Tuesday 7th of December as I record this. And if you've watched the last three videos, you'll notice I've recorded them all today. <laughs> uh... So yeah, I've uh, I think I've got like four videos recorded today. Uh, something's gone wrong with my cedar. 
it's not folded up properly. On the right hand side there, look. Uh, have to be careful driving this back then, because that's sticking out a lot further to the right. You, do you see that? That's not folded up correctly. Let me just um, pull off the road a second. Houston, we have a problem. Nope. Still not latched correctly, is it? Mm. I've not noticed that before. Right, anyway. Before we get too carried away, where are we going next? <laughs> Field 32? Yeah, field 32 next. I can't believe it. My spray, me sprayer's broken. Who's broke my sprayer? So yeah, four, four, four lovely videos recorded today. Plus, the in, all the, I, I've had to play all the in-betweeny bits. I was going to do some multiplayer this evening, do some multiplayer streaming this evening after I'd had my dinner and stuff, but unfortunately I took a nap. I took a post-dinner nap. And I, I only woke up at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. And then it's too late to start streaming at 9 p.m. Because for like Mr. Helgi, that's going to be, it's going to be 10 p.m. for him at that point. But he's not going to be wanting to play at that time of night. So I figured I'd just leave it for today, the multiplayer. I meant to do the multiplayer today, but I was up very early this morning in real life. Uh, because Tuesday is the day the family, like I said, you probably noticed in the video, I had to do a pause because the dogs were barking. And I had to go and investigate what the dogs were barking at. Um... Um, they'd gone out shopping. It was Tuesday shopping day, so I have to get up super early on a Tuesday morning because they go out at like half past seven in the morning, the family do, to go and do the shopping, the groceries and everything. Um, so I had to get up super duper early to obviously babysit the dogs and mind the dogs, um, which has therefore made today a long day for me because I didn't get to bed very early on Monday night. Again, because I, I tend, I don't tend to sleep very well at night. I'll be honest. I don't sleep during the night when everybody else typically goes to sleep. I tend to be quite wide awake, and then I normally grab a bit of a power nap first thing in the morning, sort of thing. I normally have a bit of a power nap from about six a.m. till maybe half ten, eleven o'clock, and then I typically get, get, get up. And, about 11, half 11, and that's usually when I go about my day, start going about my work day. Um, but obviously, I was up a lot earlier today, and it's telling. I, you know, I, I started to get very tired by the uh, the late afternoon. It also didn't help that for whatever reason. I was watching a video on YouTube today where it was a Christmas it was a Christmas scene somebody's um like a like a live a living room there was a fireplace there was a tree there was lights and you know decorations and stuff and, you know and it was all animated so the fire was like crackling away and burning away in in the video and there was snow falling outside the windows and and that 
and it got all the sound effects and everything and then it also got like these um little christmas tunes playing like this christmas music playing um kind of on a loop like christmas carols and stuff no lyrics just instrumental but it was really really relaxing and i think that was the problem i think watching that for whatever reason why i clicked on that i don't know I think because it was on the it was on the main YouTube page and it was like it's like a lot 24 24 7 live stream thing that somebody's been doing someone's been streaming this Christmas scene since about the middle of November and it's live 24 hours a day and you know there was several thousand people watching it apparently so I clicked on it and was just kind of sat there and it was just like really really relaxing this, this fireplace and the tree and the lights blinking and twinkling snow falling out the window all the sounds and then this, this this these christmas carols just playing in the background on on a loop it was and i think that put me to sleep i do i think that sent me to sleep so um <laughs> yeah not good as i say woke up 9 p.m too late to do multiplayer streaming tonight so now what i plan to do tomorrow for me is get my next couple of heels video reactions recorded early tomorrow get them get them rendering whilst i'm doing some face uh, youtube tagging and stuff of videos that i've already got uploaded I'll probably get these the videos I've recorded today edited tonight and rendered and then I can up, be uploading those tomorrow whilst I'm recording the uh, heels reactions for the weekend the next two episodes and then I can maybe then look at streaming a bit earlier tomorrow and doing a slightly longer length stream from the multiplayer map and then on Thursday I can hit the uh, I can hit the uh, Elm Creek map quite hard, get a few videos recorded, like and then like I say Friday get into Red Dead, smash Red Dead, and over this weekend in between the Formula One final race of the season, and then I'm I'm all set quite happily then at that point. I'll have a, hopefully then I'll have a couple of extra days free in my schedule that I can do some more farm sim streams in the daytime here in the UK which then means people in other parts of the world especially the people east in the eastern parts of the world uh, from the UK as you head east across the globe they'll be able to tune in and enjoy the daytime streams a bit more obviously the american audience won't be able to watch the daytime farm sim streams too much because i appreciate you'll probably be in bed for the first half of them and then you'll have work and school and all that kind of stuff But yeah, it'd be nice to get a couple of days streaming of Farm Sim again into my schedule. And then keep these uh keep these Let's Play series going. I'm quite pleased with, like I say, the progress I've made today. What I've got recorded today, that's been good. Obviously getting four episodes recorded has been great. I don't know why though. For some weird reason, I don't know what it is about this game. But when I check the file sizes of the videos after I've recorded these, they are massive. They're like 120 gigabytes for like the 40, 50 minutes that I record for. Absolutely massive. And um, in comparison to like a Red Dead video that I record, which is about an hour long, the Red Dead video is in their raw format their raw capture 
are only about 25 30 gig in size for some weird reason farm sim in its raw capture using the exact same settings the exact same profile in obs the same scene same settings and everything for whatever reason farm sim is coming out at like 120 i wonder why that is Maybe the game's not doing its variable, you know, variable encoding. It's capturing, because this game, there's obviously quite a bit of motion when you're driving around and stuff. Um, I bet, I bet, I wonder if my Twitch settings, oh, see now, now that's folded up correctly this time. I wonder if my OBS settings are basically capturing too high all the time whilst I'm playing this game. It doesn't do, because obviously Red Dead has kind of little bits of lulls, little bits of gaps in the action. It can, it automatically drops its bit rate down during quiet moments in the videos. So it's recording slightly less quality, but you don't really notice it. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know the reason. But I tell you what, it's eating up my SSD. Like I say, I've recorded four videos today. I am going to have to get those edited and rendered and then deleted off the hard drive pretty quick. Uh, because I don't have any room after... I won't have any room on the drive after I've recorded today's episode. I won't. <laughs> um, so I'm, yeah I'm going to have to get those edited to, and rendered tonight and then get them get them slung out in the morning get them get the raw files deleted and leave the little I mean once the once the raw file the raw captures have gone through my Vegas program they, they all each episode runs at about 3 gigabytes um, in file size and that's then what I upload to YouTube and yeah field 26 is going good let's get those other um, contracts completed still a lot of cultivating fertilizing one three nine twelve they're all up the north side of the map they're not really down the south side here. Uh, I think we'll wait on that one. I do. Like I say, I would have liked to have done Field 30. But I don't want to seed with um I don't want to seed with that machine. I don't I don't fancy seeding with that. I don't think there are any other machines that do potatoes. As I, as I say, I've not edited any of the files yet that would let me use anything like this to do potatoes. Um, which means, sadly, for the most part, it looks like we would be using this. See, that would be nice. That's six meters. You get away with six meters. You don't really have a lot of options, though. <sighs> yeah, potatoes, look. Mm. Only got an 8,000 liter capacity as well, which means you're going to have to refill that a whole bunch of times to do a field the size of field 30. I think we'll skip that. I really do. I think we'll just we'll just pretend that contract's not there. Uh, if you're wondering why I've got so much wheat in my silo, it's because I've bought chicken food. I bought several pallets of chicken food, and I've just basically stored it for the time being. I could maybe look at selling it, possibly, if I have way too much. Soybeans, two, worth 2,000 now at Marisoni. I tell you what, and the price is only going to keep going up from here on. 
Hmm. A little bit of silage still, but silage now is on its way down. Again, December, January is the peak for silage. And at this point in time, we've got nothing else loaded up. So let's go and have a quick check on things. Where's our grass? Has our grass started to grow yet? Yeah, apparently our grass is... is still harvested. Ah. When does this start to regrow, I wonder? I would have thought any time about now would have been my guess. I mean, the trees are starting to get green leaves on them, look. So if the trees are greening up and flowering, um, why aren't my... Um, why isn't my grass growing? Especially as now is grass growing period. We should be able to harvest now, technically. Um. Hmm. That's something I'm going to need to check and look into because I'm not I'm not happy. I'm not convinced that that grass is working properly. Because I would have thought that would have been growing again by now. Um, I need to look at that. That's something I need to do a bit of research in. But as you can see, we still have quite a... We're only halfway through this field. So I'm going to carry on. Get this field seeded and sowed. I'm going to collect the money for the contract. Um, I'm going to have to refill the seeder. When we come back for the next episode, it will be April, folks. So we will have our own soybeans to seed and get in the ground. And that will be all our fields planted for year two. Um, well, for our first harvest of year two. Obviously, once we start harvesting crops, we might be planting later in the year. Again, after we've done harvesting. But until then... We're going to have to see what we can do in the summer then. There probably will be a ton of fertilising in the summer, no doubt. Keep us busy. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's episode, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, as always. If you have, make sure you've clicked your like button. Um, make sure you've left your comments in the comment section down below. Again, if you're not subscribed subscribe it doesn't cost you anything it's completely free just also hit the notification bell so you get notified and my, when i release new videos they get delivered to your uh, um subscriber feed um subscription feed and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much it oh yeah share the video everywhere you can you know get as many people to watch the video as you possibly can and uh, we'll see you all in the next episode so take care of yourselves everybody Stay safe and uh, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye for now.